Hi, my name is Derek and uh, thanks for joining us today. What we wanted to do is walk you through some examples of how you can build responsive emails within the Eloqua email editor. So let's jump straight in. We'll have a look at emails, access the range of templates. I know these templates can be pre-built. Uh, in this particular instance, we're looking at the responsive uh, templates. And we're gonna choose one that carries three articles. So once you get in, the first thing you'll notice is the left and right hand side of the screen uh, is fully adjustable. You can look at that in any particular way that suits with or without the HTML being visible. You'll notice that uh, throughout this exercise though, we won't really be looking or editing the HTML a great deal. We're really primarily focusing on the template that's on the left hand side there. So we simply find relevant images that suit our article from the image library. And you can see it's very much a case of simply dragging and dropping those images right into the email. Now the width of the email in this case is 600 pixels wide and so the images themselves are also 600 pixels wide but the vertical height will adjust automatically and uh, you can see here we're able to see from directly within the editor itself what that uh, email is going to look like uh, when we uh, condense it down to a more mobile or typical mobile view. So same applies with text you can see again we have placeholders there's some lorem ipsum text there as placeholders for that particular email. So uh, in this case, I had a, a file off screen. Uh, I've copied my text that I wanted to use and I've simply pasted that into to the email editor within Eloqua and just a little bit of uh, formatting there. And then effectively just repeating the process. Um, also where you see main title there, uh, that can just simply be edited as well. For some reason, while I was producing this video, I failed to edit that. But it's, it's a text box exactly like the paragraph text is underneath as well. So you've got that flexibility to adjust that. And the styling or the CSS uh, for these can be pulled directly from your website to help ensure that you're constantly on brand uh, with what it is you're trying to do. So fonts, uh, sizes, etc., all that sort of stuff. Um, can be pulled from the website, which is helpful. So when it comes to the buttons, uh, the buttons are fully editable, which is nice. So if download is not really the right word, uh, that's fine, you can edit those. You'll see that in just a moment. Here what we're doing is adding a landing page, uh, which is an Eloqua construct, an Eloqua landing page to that particular link. Simply finding something that's appropriate and then selecting it like so. Um, as we scroll down the page here, and now we might determine that download is in fact not the right word. We'd like to change the language. So again, we can simply edit that from directly within the editor. Again, notice we're not touching the HTML on the right hand side of the page. So this works really well where you've got strong branding guidelines and that you're looking for absolute consistency uh, in the way that you're presenting your emails to customers. There are a range of ways to, to do templates uh, within Eloqua. Responsive, as you can see with this particular one, is, is one way to do it. What I'm doing now is just simply grabbing an external URL uh, that we're directing customers to uh, with that particular email that we're producing. So you can hyperlink directly to Eloqua landing pages, or of course you can hyperlink to any URL. Simply pasting that information and making sure we track that particular uh, email as it's on its way out. And again, with the last one here at the bottom, just looking to change this one to register now or register today. And so that will take us directly to uh, a registration page. Once the hyperlink is added, we're enabling it, looking for the landing page, hitting the folder there to search, and we can use keywords to search as well which is nice, saves a bit of time versus navigating through a thousand folders. And one of the typical steps within uh, Eloqua emails, we need to assign an email group, in this case, outside the cube. So we've saved that. Pop it into our folder. Of course, you always end up with mountains of demos when you do things like this. So uh, I find if I title them demo, I can then find them and delete them later. Just tidy things up a little. Okay, so the other nice thing is being able to do some in-view or uh, in-editor viewing of mobile. And you can see here the mobile view, which is nice. I can rotate that. 
uh, and have a look at it on landscape as well. Now, while the image is representative of an iPhone, uh, it is typically uh, a smartphone uh, that we're looking at. So it's nice and easy. So everything looks fine. The email is in place, the spacing, etc. My uh, subject line could use a little bit of personalization. One of the key uh, functional areas of Eloqua is your ability to do some great field merging. And so let's make the subject line relevant for the particular person that might be receiving it. In this case, it's all about social selling. So let's challenge the uh, recipient and see how their company uh, is doing in relation to social selling. So here we can see that this email will now read, Derek is Marketing Cube social selling? Nice big question mark. So pose the question and then hopefully um, that will drive them uh, to open the email. Now, of course, you can add personalization to this template, just as we've done there in the subject line. We can do the same thing within the body of text as well. And so at its most basic level, uh, we certainly read the name of the person there in that opening, uh, opening paragraph. It's always good to do a test just to see how things are looking. Uh, so you can see here we're in the test uh, content area. We can select who we want that to go to, the fact that it should be an HTML email. It doesn't take a moment. Okay, let's jump out now and have a look at that particular email within my email package. Uh, there it is, sitting at the top of the in-tray. Great. So looking good. Just test a couple of the links is always a good idea. Yep, it's gone through to the right page. Testing is always critical especially with hyperlinks. The last thing you want to do is include old, old hyperlinks potentially. Uh, this one was a, a download. I think this takes us to a, yep, to a landing page. So it's an Eloqua landing page, offering a particular white paper uh, to people. And again, we can just check that that responsiveness from a mobile phone point of view, and that seems to be working beautifully. I've tested that also on my actual mobile phone, and it looks fantastic, so that's great. That's about it, folks. In less than seven and a half minutes, we've built a responsive email from an eloquent template. Thanks very much for your time, and have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.